So you're thinking about selling your house as the holidays are coming up and you're wondering, is this a good time to sell? Well, I'm gonna talk about three reasons why I think it is a good time to sell. So stick around. I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley. I specialize in listing houses for sale. And today I'm going to talk about three reasons why I think listing your house near around the holidays is a great time. And before you go any further, we do me a huge favor and we subscribe to my channel. It really helps me. Um, and if you like what I have to say at the end, give me a thumbs up. Uh, but I'll start with the number one reason I think it, the holidays are a good time to sell. Less competition. So typically people say, oh, the spring is the best time to sell a house. Well, statistically, that's usually when we have the most buyers out. Oftentimes houses do get more multiple offers than other times of the year, even including the fall and summer. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's the best time because there's also the highest number of inventory, which means the highest number of houses are for sale, meaning you as a seller have more competition. So even though there are a lot of buyers out, maybe buyers won't be as aggressive to put an offer on your house because, well, the house down the street is also accepting offers at the end of the week. So maybe we won't be quite aggressive at this because if we don't get this house, we'll get this house. And to give you an example of what I mean by the inventory and number of houses, in April this year, there were 903 houses on the market in Santa Clara County. That's just single family homes. And right now in the beginning of November, we only have 584 houses. That's almost, well, about 40% less, which means buyers don't have as many choices. I'm still seeing multiple offers um, on my listings. I mean, I just got something in contract the other day and we still had three offers. Maybe that house would have gotten eight, maybe nine or 10 offers, which means buyers. Uh, but net, that doesn't necessarily mean it's always gonna be a higher sale price. Again, a lot of those buyers could be just sort of testing the market. Well, let's just write an offer and see how it goes. And oftentimes that's what I find, no matter if you have eight to 15 offers, there's usually only, only two or three buyers that are really competitive and they really want that house. So let's turn that into your house. If there's less competition, the buyers that are gonna be there are probably gonna be more committed and say, you know, let's really go for this house. So even if you only get two or three offers, it might be those top two or three buyers that would be really competitive in the spring housing market. So you follow, if you don't have as many choices and you really like something, people are gonna go for it. And that kind of leads into one of my other videos I did about what's the best time of year to sell a house. And honestly, the most important thing is no matter when you sell your house, that you put your best house forward, if that makes sense, do the remodeling. So again, whether you're putting your house on the market for sale the week before Christmas or the week before you know, the hottest spring market, make sure you're putting your best house forward. You know, make sure it looks really good. So let's get number two. Motivated buyers are out over the holidays. They need to get a house. Maybe their lease is coming up, you know, they're renting. Uh, maybe someone just got a divorce or they're going through a divorce and someone has to buy a house. Maybe someone's relocating. Maybe it's just they, they have more time off during the holidays and it's better time for them to go out house hunting. A lot of companies around here do slow down over the holidays, some even shut down. So those buyers that are out are really motivated. In this springtime, a lot of times people are thinking about buying a house, so they're out looking, open houses are super busy, but you actually get a lot of looky-loos. You don't get committed buyers. So over the holidays, people are motivated if they are out house hunting. The other people are off shopping. These buyers don't have time to really enjoy the holidays. They're focused, they've gotta buy a house. So they are motivated, so they are gonna be aggressive. Another reason why some of these buyers could be really motivated are the tax implications. Number one, you can write off your closing costs and they maybe need some sort of tax deduction before the end of the year, or they just wanna make sure it's done before the end of the year. So they've gotta get that house, get it closed by December 31st or you could have an investor that needs to buy another property before the end of the year. 
they have some money they have to spend and they need it done in this tax year. So that can add to some of the motivation. Number three, it's a fantastic time to showcase your neighborhood. If you live in a really great family-oriented neighborhood um, or just community-oriented neighborhood and people can drive around, see all the lights, see the festivity, see the community aspect of your neighborhood, or even if you're not showcasing the great neighborhood, maybe your house just overall, you can, you can create this really cozy, homey environment with a few decorations. Don't go overboard. We just want a little bit, keep it kind of simple, but it can create that kind of nostalgia for some people, the holidays, being at home for the holidays. You, maybe you have a tree placed in the front window that someone's always dreamed of having a tree in the front window. And it could be as simple as that, that someone gets so excited to get your house and they're going to be competitive with their bid. And a little tip during the holidays, you have to be careful. I've talked about, you know, odors and smells in the house, good and bad, but an easy way to kind of create a cozy feeling environment is by having that, the smell of your Christmas tree for one, but you can also boil, um, put a little bit of water, boil it with some cinnamon sticks, maybe some orange rinds, um, maybe a few drops of vanilla and you boil it and then put it on simmer and it is a great smell for your house and will really help people hopefully have good memories of their holidays in the past and bring them right back to a warm, happy, fuzzy feeling and they'll even be more kind of emotionally attached to your house. Uh, so I don't know, I hope those little tips will ease your mind if you are about to put your house on the market. Like I said, it can be a great time, so don't be fearful. People are buying houses every day of the year, good, bad, or in different market. People have to buy houses. They, everyone needs somewhere to live. So my biggest piece of advice, no matter what time of year it is, is always showcase your house in its best light. Make sure your house shines. So if you have any other real estate questions, anything else, please don't hesitate to comment, reach out to me. I'm here to be a resource for you. Again, I'm Annie Baker, and until next time, have a great one and happy holidays.